this is Mary with All Things Automotive. Bringing you here today a 2023 Ford Edge SEL. This vehicle features a 2 liter inline 4 gasoline engine with all wheel drive. There have been no accidents or damages reported to Carfax and this vehicle is a Carfax certified one owner as well. As we get closer here to the front of this SUV, you'll be able to see that it is a sleek, metallic, iconic silver with chrome and black accents so you'll be able to see they're on the front grille. We'll come along here to the side of this vehicle and take a look at its tires and wheels. This vehicle features silver 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels and as for the tire treads, you have got a good amount of life left in them, but I'll get you those exact measurements here in just a second as this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabin air filter, and a new engine air filter, so you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. Here on the insides of the mirrors, you'll be able to see you do have a blind spot indicator that will light up if there's anybody in your blind spot, helping you to drive just a little bit safer. And on the handles of this vehicle, you do have passive keyless entry, which is really convenient. Basically, if the vehicle's locked, you'll be able to get into it without ever having to take the keys out of your pocket or your purse. We'll now take a look here to the inside of this SUV. Here on the inside of this vehicle, you do have a lovely jet black leatherette upholstery, nice and easy to clean up from any spills or messes. And like you mentioned earlier, you do have those chrome and black accents making the way up the dashboard. While we're looking over here, I'll just open up the glove box and bring you the results of that multi-point inspection that I was talking about. And as you'll be able to see here in this inspection sheet, you do have green checks the entire way around. And as for your tire treads, you have 730 seconds in both your front tires and 630 seconds in both your rear tires. And as for your brake pads, you have 1230 seconds in the front and 1130 seconds in the rear. So you have a good ways to go before you need to replace any of those wearables. We'll now take a look here at the rear occupant seating. As you'll be able to see back here, this vehicle does seat a total of five people, but if you seat four or less, this middle seat does fall down to become an additional armrest with two cup holders in it. You also have a small storage space back here for these rear occupants and USB-C charging ports, as well as pockets on the backs of both of those front seats. And down on the floor, you do have carpeted floor mats to help keep your floors nice and clean. Over here on the door, all the doors do have a cup holder in them, as well as powered windows. I'll just close that door and we'll continue to make our way around here to the rear of this SUV. All along the bumper, you do have rear proximity sensors, that is what those little dots are, and they will let you know if there's anything behind you whenever you're backing up or parking, and you also have a backup camera to go along with that as well. I will just open up the lift gate, and as you'll be able to see, you do have a significant amount of space to haul some pretty large items. Those seats do fold down to give you even more space. In fact, over here to the left side of the rear area, you do have switches to fold them down without ever needing to clamber inside. And as you'll be able to see with those seats folded down, you've got a lot more space. You also have anchor points back here if you want to strap down any of those large items from shifting around as you drive. Those seats up front do have top and bottom anchor tether points if you have little ones who need car seats. And underneath the floorboards, you do have a spare tire as well if you're ever in a pinch. I will just close the lift gate back down and we'll continue around here to the driver's side. This SUV does have powered mirrors, powered windows, and powered door locks. And as for the driver's seat, you do have eight-way powered seating adjustments, meaning you can move the seat forwards, backwards, up, down, tilting the seat forward and back, and then two directional lumbar support. You also have a telescopic steering wheel, meaning you can move it in and out as well as up and down to fit you as you like. And to the left of that steering wheel is just your dashboard backlight controls as well as your headlight controls. And I'll just get inside this vehicle and turn it on for you. This vehicle is a push to start. And now that the engine is running and the dashboard's lit up, you'll be able to see that this vehicle has about 33,083 miles on it. We'll take your attention over here to the left side of the steering wheel, as over here are your dashboard navigation buttons. So with these, you can cycle through all the different information and services this vehicle provides to you. Underneath those, you do have your cruise controls, and then on the right side of the steering wheel, you do have your volume controls, as well as your Bluetooth and call controls, as this vehicle does have smartphone integration. We'll now take a look here to the center of the vehicle. Here in the center of the vehicle, you do have a lovely touchscreen, LCD display, and the front passenger seat and the front driver's seat are both heated to help keep you comfortable in the winter. I will just throw it in reverse to show you that backup camera in action. Beneath that display, you do have controls for it right there, a small space for something like your phone, a USB and USB-C charging port, two cup holders, your main gear shift, parking brake, your auto start-stop toggle, 
And then back here you do have a tray up top and your main storage compartment underneath it. We'll now move on to the last section of this video. In the last section of this video, we do want to address that this vehicle is pre-owned, so we'll be looking around for any blemishes, nicks, or stains. We know a lot of our customers come from very far away, and we want the purchasing process to be transparent and straightforward. We want you to know what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle, imperfections and all. So as I'm looking around the inside of this vehicle, you do have some very faint discolorations there on the ceiling, and a very, very small mark on that display, but other than those, there is nothing that is standing out to me. There are no odors or scents whatsoever. So we'll take a look here now at the outside of the vehicle. Again, we'll be looking up and down for any of those imperfections, starting by coming along here to the front. And here along the front of the vehicle, you do have several nicks, most likely from stone chips. Stone chipping is extremely common. Almost every vehicle has some form of it. The only way you can really prevent it is just by not driving your vehicle. This vehicle is also a lighter color, so it does tend to show a little more than a darker color might. A few nicks on that wheel as well. And we'll make our way along here to the passenger side. A nick there, as well as a larger one on that handle. A nick there. And we'll come along here now to the rear. Often on SUVs where I do tend to see several imperfections is where the lift gate meets the bumper as people don't take care of putting items in and taking items out. And as I take a look here, I'm not seeing any nicks or scratches in that, just some faint wear. And as for the bumper, you have some very, very faint ones here, but again, mostly just some general wear. Now I'll just close that lift gate back down and we'll continue back around you to the driver's side. A scuff right there us there and we are back to where we started that generally concludes this video vehicle tour this vehicle has a lot of great features to offer if you're interested in a silver SUV with the ability to seat five easy to fold down seats with a good amount of space in the rear a spare tire backup camera rear proximity sensors heated front seats, carpeted floor mats, smartphone integration, a blind spot monitor, passive keyless entry, and all wheel drive, this is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, come and check it out at All Things Automotive. Located at 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, PA. Or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this silver SUV and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.